so today has been um, a wonderful opportunity to, um, as a company, be able to come in and speak to different groups of your students who are studying at different levels about what future opportunities there are for them whilst they're doing their, their courses or future opportunities for career growth for them. So we've talked to them about career progression, of course. We've also gone through sort of CV writing, what to look for in a CV, uh, some of the local care homes in the area, what they offer, what we offer, uh, and the progression. And we've spoken to them about some of our own staff, a recent domestic assistant who's qualified to be an activities person, even myself working as a care assistant, progressing to a care manager, and moving from care management to HR. So yeah, just talking to them about progression and really sort of showing that it's an open book. It doesn't just start and finish with one job. Uh, there's a lot of things that you can get into after you're like level three and you've got your qualification and if you straight want to go into a role and be a practitioner or if you want to go and do further education you can do whilst working in a role with working as a practitioner in a nursery setting. But they also explained to us how our job roles wouldn't just be stuck to like being in a nursery setting or just being in like a preschool. Um, I think they have been able to gain a little bit of confidence about actually what the, the big bad world is like and actually what people will be looking for when they either decide to um, leave college to go and do an apprenticeship or leave college to go into full-time employment or further education. They can actually uh, have a bit of an insight into what skills they need to be prepared to move on to the next stage. We tried to bring along real life experience as well as um, showing them some theoretical employability skills and behaviours that we're looking for as an employer. We also tried to show them real life experiences and examples of what it means for example to um, treat someone with dignity, somebody with respect and we think the students really learn from the real life examples. I think the overriding message has been two things really, the consistency between the employers of what they're looking for and also the range of opportunities that exist within that sector, that it's not as narrow as perhaps they thought it was before they started the course. But like when they would speak to us as students they were like, and I used to be in the same position as you are right now, so they would tell us like yeah this is this was where we started as well and like so this is how we built up and this is how like we've made it. As a student you want to know what you can do after you finish college and you want to know your experiences or things you can get into after you've done your qualification at college and it's it's good because it's like they have the experiences they can tell us our exp their experience to us and if you really want to go and do what they want to do you can 